You crashed the party of the Yahad leftist group uh, who were uh, holding a ceremony to embarrass uh, Israel. Is that right? Yeah, uh, unbelievably, they thought it was a good idea uh, to shame us by by basically saying the, the, the Kaddish, the, 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 the mourner's prayer, uh, which, of course, you know, certainly most people, when you get to uh, your, your, your older years, you'd probably be saying it yourself for your, for your parents or, or for, for, um, you know, for, for loved ones. And so it's literally spitting on the graves of those very people that you do love. And, uh, well, I wasn't having that. Do you think that they were... Uh, trying to shame a British Jewry and supporters of Israel, or was it just uh, the IDF uh, for what they thought at that time was an, an IDF overreaction? Who knows what's in these people's heads, but the fact of the matter is that, that uh, they went there, uh, they said the Kaddish, they all stood there beforehand saying, right, okay, the reason I'm here is to, you know, because I'm not going to. Um, stand there and be quiet while Israel commits these acts of, of war and violence and blah, 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 and somebody else would say something else equally disparaging. And um, so, yeah, I mean, obviously it's, it's about shaming Israel, it's about shaming Netanyahu, it's about sh shaming our soldiers, our, our people who basically protect us and keep us safe. And uh, again, not acceptable. The uh, girl who was filming, a uh, girl called Yoki, Look at it. Uh, who's uh, an Israeli girl, and in fact, she's the daughter of Holocaust survivors. So um, she she got wind of it, and, and she went along, and of course, she did a live stream, and, and we saw that she was doing a live stream and told us what it was about. Of course, we were watching it, um, and during the course of that, one of the fellas uh, who, who tried to bully her a little bit. Um, she was talking to, her, to to him and saying, you know, why are you not saying prayers for, Ju for the Jewish children who have been killed by these people? And he said something along the lines of, well, the Jewish children. Jewish, people, Jewish children. And he said something along the lines of, well, how many Jewish children have been killed this week? And I thought that was just outrageous because, you know, it's only a couple of years since we had uh, um, Gilad, Ayo and Naftali who got killed in Israel. The, the three boys, and, uh, you know, it was like they were saying, you know, it would make it better if, the, if there was a bit of balance and, and there was some nice, uh, you know, mourning Jewish Jewish women. I think that's just outrageous. Well, yeah, how did you react? Well, I was driving my taxi at the time, I'm a London uh, black taxi driver, and, uh, well, frankly, I was absolutely fuming, and, uh, <clears throat> well, I turned off my, my for hire sign, spun the cab round, and drove from Bayswater to... Um, to Parliament Square, which is about three miles, and uh, got out and got myself into Parliament Square as quickly as I could, and, and just made a beeline for these people. Fifty of them, fifty of them were identified as Hamas officers by the leader of Hamas. Look, it's all over here. Salah al Badawi says openly, fifty of those kills on Monday were Hamas officers. You're fucking pricks. You're saying punish for them? You're saying cannons for that? They would have fucking killed you if you were there. They would have killed you. If you're Jews, they would have killed you. What the fuck do you expect the Israeli army to do? You expect them to let them in? Let us get slaughtered? You're worried about fucking children? You prick, you. You fucking prick. You're a fucking idiot. And you can get out of my face, you fucking wanker. Nice way to talk to people. You can have a conversation yeah, about it. Yeah, you're an idiot. You have just basically justified everything that they do. All those terrorists. I'll tell you what, next time somebody dies, it's on you. And it's on you. And it's on you. And it's on you. Shame on you. Shame on you. Fucking disgrace. Don't you fucking tell me enough. You must have been incensed by... Uh, uh, by what what you thought was their uh, perfidy. Like I said, you know, when, when somebody says, or well, somebody intimates that uh, uh, it would have been better if there was a few Jewish uh, children dead as well and a few grieving mothers, then, then, then that's, it's just not acceptable. And, and yeah, I kind of lost it. But this is a, an horrific uh, betrayal of Israel and, and the Jewish people by the left. When, when you encounter these people, uh, can you deal uh, peaceably with them? Or are they, 
they, can they be reasoned with? Considering all the, the, the evidence that's there of, of how well Israel conducts itself and how well you know, people of peace are treated by, by Israel. I mean, let's face it, you know, the, the, the Arabs who, who live in Israel you know, have got better conditions than most of the, the ones living in the Arab countries, to be totally honest. They've got more rights. Um, they've got more freedoms. And, um, you know, if they were just to simply put down their weapons, there'd be peace tomorrow. You know, um, obviously that they always say about that we attack schools and hospitals and stuff like that, but only if they're firing weapons from there. And even then, what we do is we do things like roof knocking where we'll, we'll, we'll put a small incendiary uh, device to go off on the roof just to give them warning, look, you need to go because your house is about to be blown out. So we do try to avoid, I say we, the Israelis try to avoid, obviously, civilian casualties. They do things like leaflet drops, television, uh, you know, they'll hack the television and say, look, you know, there's going to be a, an attack. They do everything in their power to avoid civilian casualties. You know, there doesn't need to be any casualties. It's just that, that of course, if if these animals, because that's frankly what they are, are shooting you know, rockets from mosques and schools and hospitals, it's fair game. But, you know, we, we pride ourselves on being unapologetic about our Zionism because you know, it seems to me that whenever you, you uh, want to defend Israel nowadays, you've got to preface it and say, you know, you, know, you have to justify the, you, the fact that you are Zionistic. And I don't think we need to do that. We should be proud of what we are. What advice would you have for these people? Some words of inspiration. Well, for a start, they could contact me. Uh, uh, and I will put them in touch with, obviously, the, the, the powers that be, so to speak. The fact of the matter is that there's, uh, there's events going on all the time. Unfortunately, anti-Israel, anti-Jewish. Um, and we just need, need people to show up and... And, and, and support us and, and obviously advocate for Israel and also advocate for ourselves. You know, we, we need to change the, the narrative and we need to, to convince people that, that we're not the enemy. And um, basically, they, they've just got to stand up. They've just got to stand up.